Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, <laughs> I gotta finish putting my eyes on, so I thought I'd do it with y'all's help. And I was gonna look at all these different palettes and see which one had mint green, and then all of a sudden I remembered something. Tell me, I still have it. There it is. Do y'all remember this little palette? This is Luminous, Luminescent Eyeshade Mare from Chantecaille. And I remember it was when they came out with their, um, horsies. The horsey, um, stuff. So, yeah, that's what it is. I'm so hot, y'all. It shouldn't be this hot this time of year. I'm very confused. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use this. Let's do this first. Again, it's the Luminescent Eyeshade Mare. M-A-R-E by Chantecaille. And what I loved about it was this little French Riviera or Italian Riviera um, scene on the beach. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And then I thought, well, I don't know, maybe I'll love that shade. This shade is perfect. It's the perfect mint color. And if you take your pinky, which is to me the best way to apply a luminescent shade like this, right in the corner. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so sweaty because it is so hot. I don't get it. Okay. And I'm going to put it right in that little corner and then go over. Right in that little corner. And see how it's just enough luminescence. Just enough. And, um... Now, we're going to have other colors there, but the green is what I wanted. And I'm going to use my other pinky and wipe that off on my little trusty makeup towel I always have right down here. Wipe my finger off. And use my other pinky because it's just easier, you know, and get the sweat off. Hold on. Y'all, can you believe? It is that hot? Really? Really? Okay, so that's how much I'm using. Just straight from the, the pan. Isn't that a beautiful shade, y'all? It's like a true, perfect, luminescent shimmer of mint green. And I wanted that today because I'm wearing that color. And I'm just going straight up and down in the tear duct area and then over. Just a little. It's just enough. For daytime, it's just enough. I don't know, I feel like maybe a little more. There we go. And over. Yeah, it's just enough. Because I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing a mint green with little polka dots. And I'm wearing my little polka dot kind of, um, I think I got this from Bobble Bar. It's that real pretty um, link that's so expensive right now. Bobble Bar had this for like, I guess $20. And matching earrings. See the little round circles. And this got a little tassel on the end. So that's all I'm doing with this. And then I'm going to be using the Naturally Pretty. This is one that I just um, got. The Naturally Pretty Essentials and their Max uh, Matte Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. And so it's all matte. There's no shimmers in here at all. And that's okay. Because sometimes you just want a completely matte. Let me put this kind of right here because I think you can see it better when you see me. And the camera focuses on me. So if I keep it close to my face, I think it, it focuses better. Um... This would be a great travel pouch. So whenever you're going to use a travel pouch, I do save the uh, cellophane so that it doesn't get go everywhere. It's got a small mirror, but it's controlled by a magnet, so this holds on very, very well. So I'm just going to take a um, E25 blending brush, and I'm going to go... You could go in any of these highlights. This one over here has a little bit of a transforming hello light. So you could put this on top of any of them and give them a little bit of a shimmer, but I'm pretty much going to stay matte. I'm going to stay with this kind of white color called Imagine. And I am going to put that right under the brow very slowly because I want to control this powder. Sometimes the reason we have fallouts is because we're in too big a hurry. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go past it a little bit. I always go a little bit past the eye. Y'all, can I tell you, I'm so sweaty right now that that is my, um, primer. My own sweat. There we go. Get that good and in there. And then I go past here so that there's a brightening from behind. And I think I'm going to just flip this over and go to the next color over. Two over, actually. Or am I going to stay cooler? 
I should think I'm going to stay cooler. I'm going to go to Passion. And Passion's almost like a beige in the pan. Let's see what it looks like. And I'm going to let that be kind of a mini transition from there. But I'm still going to use a brown. Yeah, because that's not a very dark transition color, which is okay. Because you can just use the brown and, and blend it up and let that be your transition. And so I'm just coming right under where I did the highlight all the way down to through the crease to the lid. Can you see that? And so basically what it does is it neutralizes the area and that's what you want. You want it to neutralize the area. Okay, now I'm going to take, uh, let's see what's the best thing to use. Um, yum, 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 yum. I'm going to use this all over blending brush. This is an E37. And I'm going to the first dark color in the palette, which is this color right here. It's a, it's a soft brown, but I have funny film when we put it on, it's not going to be so soft. So I'm going to tap that off really good. And we're going to just go in the crease with it, but I have a funny feeling. Yep. That's exactly what I thought. It will be plenty enough to, um, blend up into the transition area. And because we already have another color there, that's going to blend down just nicely. There we go. I will probably use that transition color one more time. And I'm coming from out, I'm coming in. I'm just kind of darkening the outer area of the lid. There's also a black. I don't know that I'm going to use that. But I am wearing black, so that probably would be good. Let's go swoosh back and forth once. Twice, three times. That's plenty. And then go up from where you just were just a little bit. And bring that in right there. Because I'm sweaty, that's doing a really bad deal. So let me show you what you do. First of all, I'm going to blot that area because it's too sweaty. To go any further. The sweat's in my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm going to use this shader brush. And I'm going to take that same passion color, which was the beigey color. And I'm going to come from the above the brown down into it. And see how that just softened it back up. And I also got rid of the line. So let's just get rid of the lines while we're there. See the difference how that softened that? So now I've just got the dark color in the crease, which is where I wanted it anyway. There we go. So again, you come from above it. See where that's all not blended yet? We're coming above the brown and coming down on it. And blend and just blend that out. And the lighter color is blending it in too. How's that? That looks pretty good. Okay, that's what I was going for, if that makes any sense. I look a little puffy today. Um, for those of you who don't know, my husband just had knee replacement surgery, and that is why I have not had time. Um, he definitely can't do the doggy bag song, and I'm just going to do it a cappella and uh, pick and announce the um, winners of the Christmas giveaway. So I again apologize, apologize, apologize 15 times on this issue. Um, but I do feel really bad about it, but he comes first, as you might imagine. I'm going to use that black, that Allure color, because I've already done my brows. Allure is the black matte in the, um, palette, and we're just coming right through the lashes with it. It just look, kind of look, makes it look almost like a liner, and then we're just going to, whatever's left on there, kind of dot it through the, um, the, um, what am I trying to say? Upper lashes. Just the lash line. Not going below it. We're just reinforcing the lash line itself. It's got that in the eye. Just using that black. Here we go. Use a little more. Especially next to that green. I think it's really pretty. Again, we're just kind of filling in, tapping out and filling in any area of the lashes. Okay, and because of that, though, I want to come back. So we're done with the palette. That was a really good, just everyday palette, y'all. That's why I said it's really good. This is just a really good one and a little It Cosmetics um, 
their little mini brush kit that you can take this and brush kit and keep it in your car for whenever you may need a touch up throughout the day or or keep it in your purse if you have a large purse. I don't know if I carry all of that. That's a kind of whenever you do palettes, I mean it's kind of like big, you know. I don't know. So I am going to I've just changed my mind on what I'm gonna do on the lid. I'm gonna add this to my lid and make it really green today. There. And kind of blended it out. Right on the center and then come forward to the inner corner and then go up above where you are and just come down into it. And that's how you kind of blend the brown into the green and the green into the brown. All right, so we've got that done. I really love this color, y'all. That is such a beautiful color. I hope you can see it good. Can you see it? It's just so beautiful and shimmery. And it's not often that I wear it. It's pretty much I wear it with this green mint shirt. And so now I'm going to take my little blender brush and kind of blend that area a little bit. And really that's all. I'm not going to over blend that. I want that color like that. Okay, but what I am going to do is I already done my shadow, but I want to do my, what did I do with it? There it is. This liner. This is the Man Eater Tarte. It is a pencil, it is um, a brush, fine, fine brush, like my DHC. <sighs> okay, this is what's wrong. I got to a little bit of fallout. So I'm gonna use a dual fiber. Dual fiber just means it's two different kinds of fibers, usually two different lengths. Just kind of pop it off the nose and cheeks where that had fallout. There. Wipe it off on your little makeup towel below and put it back in. My cute little, I think I've shown you all this before, but this is the one I got this year from Ellen Blair Fowler's um, website, um, Shop Glitzy Glam. And it's got my initials and it comes with the beads. It's just a great, great, you could use this as a vase, you could use it to hold pens and pencils.